Hey everyone, j -Row Lights here, and here I have a 50-year-old Zippo. This is a 1970 Zippo, and it obviously has a story. It has a lot of use. Today, we're going to give it new life. I'm going to show you how affordable, how easy, and how quick bringing this Zippo back to life is going to be. So stick around and find out. This is j -Row Lights. So this is everything I need to get me started cleaning my Zippos. I got my white vinegar. This will get all the carbon buildup off that Zippo uh, with the use of the Q-tips. We got our soapy water to get rid of any of that vinegar so it won't rust the Zippo. We got our tweezers for getting the cotton out. We got our rim oil. If it's good enough to keep my pew-pews from rusting, it's good enough to keep my Zippo lightened. And then we have our drill to get all our flints unseized. Uh, if it is seized in there. So lots of shop towels too. So this is what I use to clean my Zippos. First, we're going to take our insert out. We're going to take our thin tweezers, get that screw on loose there. Whenever you have dust come out of that flint tube, you know that it's probably seized up in there. So what we're going to do is take our drill this is the smallest drill bit that I've been able to find. It fits right in this flint tube. What I'm going to do is gently push very, very lightly because you do not want to push uh, that flint tube out of a socket or anything. Then you'll have more problems than you started with. So we're just going to gently drill out that flint. Once that old flint comes out, you always can put in a new flint just to make sure it lights. And we have a good working flint tube now, cleared out from any old flints. Now we're going to get all this cotton out. Okay, once you get the cotton out, you got your flint out, you got your wick out, we're going to throw it in that vinegar. Usually let it sit in there for a couple minutes, depending on how dirty it is. You get your case, you still got a bunch of carbon built up in there. We're gonna throw that in there too. So we're just gonna wait a couple minutes and let it soak. While that's soaking, we can just do a few things. You can always cut your wick, wick tip off. Make that look brand new, get any frayed ends off of it. You can also replace a wick, that's no problem, but so we let our insert sit. We're gonna start cleaning it. You just take Q-tips. Just get to working. This take, depending on how clean or dirty that Zippo is, it's going to take a good minute to get it nice and clean. But you wanna get the edges of the chimneys, you'll get the outside, you'll get the cam, you'll get the wheel, all those small crevices of that Zippo. All right, we got our insert looking pretty good. There are still some spots here. Sometimes it may just take a few more minutes. To just throw it in, back in the vinegar, let it soak. While it's doing that, we'll take care of the case. In the case, a lot of carbon buildup gets in there. So we'll just clean the case just like we did the insert. Once you get your insert clean, you will want to put it in soapy water. The reason for that is that vinegar will just eat through your insert, give it a day or so, and your flint wheel will be rusted all over. So we really just want to get a good rinse on this, get all that vinegar off. I usually just use Q-tips to let it dry. You can also let it air dry for a little bit as well. Uh, also, if there's any uh, residue spots left over, you can just get those off. Also, I like to let it air dry because you do get a lot of moisture up in that uh, flint tube. So unless you have like a brush or something, uh, you just try to let all that moisture out of that flint tube. Once your insert's done air drying, what I do is I take rim oil. 
like I said, if it's good enough to keep my pew pews from rusting, then it's good enough to keep my Zippo lightened. So I'm just going to really generously spray this rim oil along, get in all those hard to reach places. And I'm just gonna let it sit, let it air dry a little bit. Same with the, the case, get it on that hinge. You can use WD-40, you can use uh, any oil or anything that will keep that Zippo from rusting. Once we've let that air dry, we're just going to put it back together. We're gonna to start with the wick. I did decide to get a new wick for this just because the old one really wasn't holding up very well. So we're gonna put a wick. Usually do like to keep my wicks about a quarter of an inch below the rim of the chimney. I am going to replace some of the cotton balls just because they, some of them were a little ashy. So here it is, 50 year old Zippo looking almost brand new, working almost brand new. Do need to work on that cam and that hinge a little. But other than that, as far as the insert goes, can't get any cleaner, can't look any better, can't work any better. That's a Zippo for you. So if you enjoyed this, if you like this, if you learned a little, let me know in the comments. If you have another way that you clean your Zippos or use something different, let me know in the comments. There's several ways you can go about it. To me, this is the easiest, most affordable, quickest way you can clean your insert. This is J-Row Lights. We'll see you on the next one.